When you get pulled over by the police, the first thing they're going to come up to you and do is ask you, do you know why you was pulled over? And then after that, what that officer will do is he'll go and he'll articulate a violation, right? But he's the officer of the law, and his job is to be on the scene when it's a crime being committed. So one of the first things you want to do at this traffic stop is ask this officer to articulate a crime. And don't say anything else after that. You just address that officer in honor. You're not doing anything slick. He's pulling you up as the officer of the law. And his way through your door, his way having anything to do with you is predicated on you being outside the law at that moment, right? And he'll never, never answer that question or he'll never articulate a crime because he can't. You haven't committed a crime. At this moment, your Fifth Amendment is, is enough. You can plead the Fifth. You don't have to say anything. It's not like you're a criminal. It's just so you won't say anything that he can use to try to trip you up. If you give him a driver's license, you admitting that you're a driver. So he can use that against you. He can't force anything from you. He can't demand anything from you. For the simple fact that he's only an authority once a law has been broken. He charged you with being a driver by law. So now you have to go by law to see what a driver is. And if you've been following my page and my channel, you know that driver by law is pertaining to commerce or employment. If you're not using the roads to make money, there's no rules or regulations for you. And don't, don't let people use the fear of saying that you're lawless or you won't obey any laws because all of us obey laws. Is the only reason you don't steal because it's police? If that's it, then I understand why you're concerned about some traffic laws, but all of us know right from wrong. All of us have kids. You know, some of us might drive a little fast at different times, but it's not we're putting anybody in harm in mind. And then harm, no matter how fast a person drives, if they haven't ran into anyone, or damage their material is no crime. It's called corporate stalacti in law. And we talking about law because the only reason that police has any authority over you is pertaining to law. It's been court case after court case proving that traffic infractions are not a crime. One of the court cases that support this is people versus battle. And in the direct case is not involved with whether traffic infractions are a crime or not, but they get to a verdict based on that premise. You know, so that's how law works. It's not the case pertaining directly to that thing, but it's one of the mediums which that case was decided upon. So people versus battle, people versus solver, these things support that traffic infractions are not a crime. Me, I carry my paperwork with me all the time too. I call it my traveling papers. It's all the laws pertaining to commerce and the road. And actually, what I found recently was my actual application to be a transportator or a driver and I got this after I stopped working for FedEx I've been working for FedEx like 11 years between ground and Express and then when I finished when I left ground I filled out application for private private uh, I want to say airport not a private airport but private not an airport but a runway for um, a limousine service basically and what you have to get with that is a letter from the public service commission with a background check it's a fee for your application i'm trying to find it now and um i do have it and that makes you a driver a professional driver because the driver is one who transports transports her commerce right and all these laws and rules that we have they're for people that's using the road to make money off it because if you're on the road, you need to be safe on the road. The roads were created for us private citizens. They're public roads, and the difference between public and private is when we're all in one place at the same time, that makes it the public. But it was designed for me and for you, which are private citizens. When businesses use the roads to make money off of, now they owe the society back. They owe us safety. 
so they have a Department of Transportation to make sure you up to all these codes. Now, the Department of Transportation are in charge of citing and violating or, or citing people that are in violation of these codes. And when you look at transportation, look up the meaning of the word. We don't transportate, we don't transport, we don't carry, or we don't drive as regular day-to-day -day beings or citizens. Now, they have jurisdiction over people that do use those roads for commerce. If you look up MVA, Motor Vehicles Administration, and the Department of Transportation, you'll see it's the same umbrella. So they've been knowing for some time what driving was pertaining to law. And what we do is calling trap. Well, it's called traveling. That's what we do, or moving about in our conveyance. It actually don't need a name for it because we don't have to register our automobiles per uh, United Commerce Code 1-109 which states, and it's not about cars at all, it's about wills and taxes. It states that a car can be left behind as a consumer good or a household good, right? How you doing? A consumer good or a household good, you can leave your car behind as that. So this is for, co it's for commerce. All the codes, the United Commerce Codes, it has a listing of what everything is, a service, a good, so, so forth and such and such right you should check into that that's a whole nother can of worms that's when people want to get really intricate but only use what i need to keep those people out of my hair and the united commerce code you should check that out as well it it keeps you in your proper place it allows you not to be commerce and just to be a regular citizen because if you are a driver you are driving for commerce and these things can save your life. So when you start talking to these officers and asking them real lawful questions, they'll get quiet or they'll get angry and say, I don't have time for this and try to bully you out of your situation. But you don't have to respond at all because not responding is not a crime. Calling on one of your constitutional rights is not a crime. So you can plead the fifth and sit there as long as you want. It's up to you, but he's gonna try to figure out a way to put you in his jurisdiction. Don't talk. You haven't committed a crime. Check all of this out now while it's on the video. And if you want, you can go to my video. I'm basically in the same same situation that I was in there, in my car talking to a police out the window, but now I'm talking to y'all. And I already got pulled out the car and arrested, but I'm still here telling you that I was in the right. And I posted my case, which shows that I got found guilty or driving without a license because I don't need a license to drive. None of us do. Again, and you have to call them on this. I don't want anybody to go to jail. And I went to jail because, first of all, the cops wasn't in honor. They kept trying to put me in a situation that I wasn't a part of. And if you look at the video, I'll ask them for, for the crime, jurisdiction, the whole nine yards. Even my tape of me in jail with the judge saying the same thing, presenting these laws. Now, it's not that the laws don't work, they do. And a lot of our people say, those laws ain't worth shit. Yes, easy for you to say so you can stay where you are. If you're a coward, I understand, you know, but you don't know the laws. The police don't know the law. Well, I don't even want to say they don't know the law. They don't care for what the law is because even if they don't know, once I present this to them, you think they go and check it out? They just dare like they are really in charge of you on some bullying shit. But they're there pretending that they're the law. And when you challenge them to keep the law, they don't even know what the fucking law is. You know, so you plead the fifth. That's your right to remain silent. And you haven't committed a crime. What are you going to do to a police officer? Are you going to remain in honor? Are you going to be dishonorable as fuck? You know, ask any police. Show this to any police. He'll have to deny it, try to call laws old, anything he can do to keep you inside of his revenue. And that's all it's about. Your life ain't nothing but revenue to them, and you try to get out of it using the law, and they won't allow it. Let me see if I can pull this up, too. Let me look. Ah, I found it. Public Service Commission. This is an application for a driver's license. How you doing? This is an application to drive for hire. Y'all see this? With this, I'm a professional driver. 
This is Maryland Public Service Commission passenger for hire driver's license. So if you're gonna transport people or goods, you need a license for hire. That's transportation, right? Maryland Public Service Commission passenger for hire temporary. Below is your temporary passenger for hire driver's license. You must have this license in your possession when driving a passenger for hire. The license is valid 30 days and will expire April 21st, 2017, as shown on the license. Prior to the expiration date, you should receive either a passenger for hire driver's license or further notice on the status of your application. See, I applied for a real driver's license. This is an in addition to the one certificate that I had that I already said that I was a driver for the state of Maryland. Now, with all this law that I'm telling you, I don't think people are realizing something. Misclassification is fraud. The Department of Motor Vehicles has been classifying us as drivers for as long as you've been driving, which is a false classification because we're travelers. And it's not my law. I'm not being slick. What I did was sit down and read you know, when you're a part of something, you should see what, what's involved with it, right? You tell your kids all the time, check everything out, check everything out. Have y'all checked out what driving really is? Have you checked out whether you have to register your car with the state? Have you really checked? I guarantee you that you haven't. And they took me to jail. They knocked my window out the same car, and I still don't drive with license. See, they have to take shots at you. I liken it to, like, the brothers that was marching for rights back in the day. You know, the civil rights and shit, they were right, but they still went to jail. Did, did the people back then think that they was wrong for standing up for their rights? And civil rights ain't no difference than, than driving. I'm quite sure it looked like forever that we wasn't supposed to have the rights that anybody else had, no matter how angry you were. And even with that, it's disgusting. When I think about all the brothers, same color, police, judges, shit, the president. All of them sharing the skin tone that I have, but I guess the revenue that they receive from brother's blood, brother's going to jail, it, it means more than, than a sense of humanity or nationality. It'll be a lot of people that don't like this video and that's what's so crazy about this world because what I'm saying is not rights and rules for me, it's for everybody. And for you to not want it, I have to wonder what's wrong with people. How much would this cost to investigate? All the stuff that I'm saying, um, what driver mean, what transport mean. Ask a police officer to articulate a crime. See where that conversation go at fast. Ask him to provide a witness for what he's charging you with. He can't write a ticket for an infraction. It's out of his jurisdiction. Ask him to pull out some proof to show you that he has a right to write you that ticket. He won't respond, but he's there pretending that he's there in law. So are you law or are you not law? And why y'all playing with people, people's lives? How many brothers been killed? How many times have we seen this shit over and over again and they don't even have a right to do it? It's almost y'all job to share this video. It's not about me, it's the truth about us. And a lot of people might, it might bounce or resonate in them, but they won't do anything until they get pulled over by the police, get a speeding ticket or somebody that they know get in trouble. And then that's when we want to activate. That's when everybody want to hit me up like I'm a fucking miracle worker and it's going to work overnight. But what we going to do, oh, it don't work because it don't work overnight. No, it work as you go along. I spent 15 days in jail and I'm still telling you, that is the law. You know, I can show you my, my court documents. I can show you the case, but it won't make a difference because I just think blacks are terrified. You're just afraid. You don't want to move. So it's easy for you to blow smoke or to ignore what I'm saying all together. But I've been in this position before. It's a video on the same channel. I get kidnapped by the cops for knowing my rights. Then the video with me in the courtroom telling the judge or going back and forth with the judge. I'm standing on what's real and because other people won't stand on it, that don't make it any less real. 
You know, all our black leaders, congressmen, councilmen, black lawyers, black judges, where y'all at? And, and tell me to my face any of this shit is a lie. That's what I'm challenging you with. Don't make it out what you needed to be to benefit businesses, because we wasn't created to benefit businesses. Laws were created for living, breathing people. So you're not gonna come to me with a policy, say the building is more important than the person. It don't work that way. And if that's how you feel, then you have to bring that into discovery. If you think I owe you anything, or you're over top of me, well, the law says you have to bring that into discovery. Police, when you charge me with being a driver, can you prove that by law? By law, am I, am I employed to do that? If not, I'm not a driver, it's really that simple. It's a bunch of other things, case laws, laws that's already been decided on. MVA, you supposed to give us non-commercial, not for hire uh, tag to put on our cars. This got decided in California. You know, Marin, Marin Water District versus Chinoo. These cases already been decided on that. If you're not using the road to make money, you're not employed for profit, you don't need to register your car, whatever, and you're supposed to get license plates to say non-commercial, not for hire. And if you don't have those, it's a fraud. So, why are we still in this situation? You know, I don't get any checks from anybody, any organization. I'm not affiliated with anything but humanity, you know what I'm saying? But the rights that I was born with. And if you don't investigate and if you don't dig into it, you'll find yourself a slave. So I stood on my square and it worked because they took me to jail. And then I got found innocent of driving without a license.